All right, hey everybody, welcome back. Let me just make sure. Uh... Let me get Facebook online. God, that uh, feedback is crazy. <laughs> crazy whistling. Oh my God, I'm going to turn this volume down. All right. So I started this already. I did the cut, all the cutting and everything. I'm just starting from a stencil. It's a real quick, as fast as I can. I put one little layer of uh, of gray on here and put another one down. Um, leave it to me to choose the most difficult pictures on uh, the same day that I want to get it done. But it's not going to be super. Uh, It's not going to be super um, detailed. I'm going to detail as much as I can, but it's not going to be. So I got to hit this here. Do a little bit more cutting right here. Take this off. Um, going to go back to fight week tonight. Sahudo should be there. They almost didn't let me in this morning, but I was able to uh, to get in, and so I'm thankful for that. Hopefully, I can get this to Sahudo. And then I'm going to be bringing, uh, if anybody's out there at Fight Week, I'm going to be bringing some paintings for sale. I'm going to bring a Khabib painting, and I'm going to bring a John Jones painting for sale. And if I don't sell it tonight, I'll be out in front of T-Mobile tomorrow. Tomorrow, early afternoon, I'll be out by the T-Mobile, and I'll try to get that to, oh, shit, I actually took up too much tape. Put this one back. Try to get that to um, get that John Jones sold because it didn't win the contest. I don't even think I don't even think UFC saw it. They didn't even acknowledge they see, they seen it. So I don't, know if, I don't know if they seen my John Jones piece, but even if they didn't, it's okay. I'm gonna sell it tomorrow. and make some money. Speed paint. There's gonna be a real. There's gonna be a quick yicky. Even though it's uh, kind of biting off more than I can chew a little bit, as far as time. This is a piece right here that I would want to take a lot more time on than what I'm gonna probably be taking. But I think I can pull off uh, in a couple hours a good amount of detail and. Uh, And what I want to do, especially working in black and gray, that's why I've been working in black and gray a lot lately because it's so much faster. I don't have to um, worry about coloring things and layering them as much. But I am going to put uh, gold, lots of gold on here. He'll have the golden glow. He'll be like Bruce Leroy. I'm going to have the glow. Triple C. He deserves it. I know a lot of people call him cringe or whatever, but... I don't have any of those kind of
for me, actions speak louder than words and the way that somebody fights, you know. That's what I look at. So. Not looking always shit on people. Because being an artist, you know, we I have to expose myself too out here, you know. Somebody might think when I open my, my mouth that it sounds cringy too. <laughs> just part of being on camera most people are going to sound cringy especially when they're like talking themselves up and stuff like that they sound boastful speed painting off and then we'll load up some more black so basically what I'm doing with the stencil is just keeping everything in place just so I can see where everything's at then I add the values on top and details let me hit that part again <sighs> makes it way quicker Taking the time to make the cuts for the stenciling. So two shortcuts I'm taking is um, black and gray, and the other is stenciling. Sometimes I don't even feel like stenciling, and I just uh, go straight up. Nice and dark. Right. Go over this part. Painting the sides. They're not primed. The sides aren't primed, so I'm hoping this black sticks. I'm thinking it will. All right. I wasn't going to put sides on. I was going to um, put this in a picture frame, but with the Shevchenko we didn't we didn't like the frames that were available so I scrapped that idea for this one well I still could so there goes that no more stenciling quickie icky cookie icky And now I have a nice uh, now it's really painting by numbers, you know. Cheating. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. That's probably the ink. That's probably the printer ink. Was it the printer ink? Here?
que se cae en el... Yeah, it's gonna have the golden glow at the end. This piece and have a. of uh Quick yicky. So right here on this piece, you just beat um, Morais. If you guys saw that fight, it was super good fight. I won money on this fight. I put in a, about, um, I bet 75 bucks on them, and I made a couple hundred bucks off of that. 75 bucks that I bet, so I was super happy. I was super pumped. Never, I never really won money. Um, I'd never bet on sports before or anything. I've never felt comfortable. I don't know enough about sports. But he was the underdog, so I was like, well, let me take the underdog and uh, see, if, uh, see if it pays off. I was screaming when he was waiting. <sighs> that was a rush. That was a rush. Take off that extra little bit of. Went a little too high with the stencil. Yeah, Marais was uh was giving it to him in the first round. And Joe was like, oh no, you know, he's getting out class. I was like, oh shit. Lost my money. And then all of a sudden he started winning. I'm like, money. He came out in that second round.
started pounding them out. So I love Cejudo. I'll never call him cringe or anything like that. None of that stuff matters to me. But, yeah, if you want to hate on the guy, hate on him. Because, you know, what happens is it it helps people when you hate on him. I mean, he, he probably, like Mayweather, I, I hate, I couldn't stand <laughs> It's not that I hated him. I just didn't like his, uh, like, he felt arrogant to me, you know. And I would, you know, watch his fights and hoping, you know, he'd lose. You know, he never, and I never got that pleasure, never got that satisfaction. And now I respect him, man. You know, but at the time when he was popular, I didn't really like him. But some people take it too far, man. I've had people defriend me over liking, uh, over boxers that I like and stuff like that. On a, people get off. Fans take it a little too far sometimes. Nobody ever said um, McGregor was cringe, and I used to think that fool was cringe. I thought McGregor was cringe. He used to say things that would just... And everybody thought he was the coolest shit in the world, so... But like I said, even even then, I didn't didn't like McGregor that much. But I've painted pieces about McGregor, you know. I, I I'm able to be um, I'm able to be uh, objective about my hate. I'm able to control my hate. <laughs> so even if I hate a, hate a, if I'm hating on a fighter or whatever, hate's a strong word, right? It's not hate, it's just not not a fan of a fighter or whatever. Um, I'll still paint them usually as long as they didn't say anything too heinous. Mike, I'm recording. Okay. Right. So it's a okay. Just telling you. Speed painting. Speed, speed, speed. Speed is the name of the game today. I'm aiming for two hour piece here. Don't think I'll get it, but. The belts are going to slow me down, if anything. Yeah, the belts are going to slow me down. Trying to get all the detail in them and stuff. Oh, my hand wasn't warm today. My hand wasn't warmed up. Some 
tape right here. Nice and easy. Hard work, hard work, dedication. Kinds of tape artifacts. I should have had this Cejudo done like Wednesday, but I got got sidetracked and slowed down a lot this week, especially because of the uh, holiday. see what we can do here. The speed painting. Speed work here. Yeah, I'd like to do everybody. I met Stylebender this morning. That was cool. And I wish I had a painting of him. He was all into it, too. He was liking my artwork. Yeah, it's cool when those guys like your stuff, man. It's a, a good feeling. Definitely going to do one for Stylebender, though. He gets one now. Being cool as hell. And next time style bender fights, I'll definitely be rooting for him because he's cool as hell. Cat Zingano, cool as hell. Anthony Smith, super nice, cool as hell. It sucks, man. It sucks that those guys go in there and one guy's got to lose. And, you know, I mean, some of them are super cool and uh, they don't deserve to lose. They don't deserve to lose, and they still lose sometimes. Speed paint. Speed paint. Cejudo. That's what I should have put on that. 
on the title of this speed painting, Saludo. Because that's what this is going to be. So it might not be as detailed as some of my other things, but I'm going to try to trick the eyes here. Put a little bit of bullshit. This one. Not there. I'm going to try to trick the eyes, make it look like it's more detailed than it is. My man. Tricking eyes here, tricking eyes. That's what I do. Tricking some eyes, tricking some eyes. I'm gonna block off those UFC and things real quick. More down cutting. I could have swore I cut these out earlier. I oh, know that was maybe. Recycling tape here, so I don't have to be buying new tape every second. One second, let me check something real quick. No comments. Cover those. Hopefully, this knife's still sharp. It's because I hate lettering, so best to cover it. And the lettering will do itself. Go. There we go. Oh, where do you go? You got stuck with the other tail. Sticking this U back on right here. Boom. Same thing here. surgical with this exacto 
don't need no computers or anything. I <laughs> just use this exacto blade. Photoshop, you'd have to use the uh, magnetic lasso tool to do this. Or the lasso tool if you're good. comes to you again. These U's just don't want to cooperate. Beat it into submission. That's enough. Oof. Tank built gave me a um, 40 20 reducer that's acetone based. Oh, it's kind of. Kind of hurts my eyes a little bit. Out of black already. Yep. I'm actually using both the forty twenty and the forty twelve because this wicked gets a lot of tip dry, so. Doesn't seem to control it too much with the uh, just the 4020, which was what I was hoping when he gave it to me. I was like, Maybe this will solve my tip dry problem with the uh, wicked color. I'd like to use the wicked smoke, smoke uh, black. And I'm shooting at uh, about 40 psi, so pretty. It's kind of high, but here in Vegas it's so hot that the the um, paint dries on the tip really quick. So that's my reasoning behind going a little higher, a little less tip dry. And like I said, this wicked gets a lot of tip dry. 
I got the window open and it feels like I'm outside, literally. Even though the AC's on in here and everything. I have no idea what that says there, and I'm not going to take the time to sit there and recreate everything. I'm just going to kind of bake this here. And that's because of the time crunch. If not, I would actually try to go in and uh, recreate this metal. Just like the belts, I'm not going to try to like get every little detail on the belts. I'm just going to mainly just nail the shape and and uh, just nail the shape and try to get it as close to what it would look like on the picture. Here's a little bit big. Oh, that's right. That's right, right there. A little bit more black up here. Put some gray here. Slowly coming to life. Yeah, the only thing that would make me regret this picture is the belts. Just a lot of the detail on there. But other than that, it's not too bad. And I chose a picture with the um, new belts on purpose because the old belts are a lot harder to draw. Just from experience. These new belts have a more like a symmetrical shape, a lot faster to draw.
lot faster to draw. Fly hairs here. I'm gonna go too crazy with them. Fast, 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 fast. Time is it? Two o'clock. I'm gonna paint till three. Hopefully, be done by three. Where's that at? Oh, I see it. I usually don't include so much uh, UFC branding too on these pictures, but I think I have to here. Especially with it being fight week and everything else. Like I said, if anything makes me not hit my deadline today, it's going to be because of the, the time crunch I got.
And I don't like doing things this fast, honestly. I like to put a lot more detail. But... In this case, it's just... Damn, more branding down here. There's branding all over this. This, um... Sorry, but that's enough branding. For today. I'm just getting shadowed down here. Got UFC in the gloves. I got UFC. <laughs> UFC coming up the coming out the yin yang on this uh, drawing. UFC out the yin yang. See at the yin yang over here. UFC at the gym here. Can't really see what's going on right there. Oh. Going till three o'clock my time, the one hour more, and uh, my aim is to have it done at three o'clock. So wherever it is, I'm gonna stop it right there. And uh, yeah, hopefully we uh, do this poor guy some justice. I think it looks like him. a little bit.
is giving them down belts because them belts are like what's going to kill us. Fast, fast belts. Fast, fast belts. Yeah, it'll be cool if we get to meet him tonight. I'm going to um, talk to um, a bud of mine, see if he's pre-registered for the 3 o'clock. I think it's 3 o'clock, the next one. Tell my wife to have the kids ready to go at that time. Gonna just imply that the cage is there. Cheat a little bit. Lots of cheating going on today. I think I'm still on uh, on time though. I think I'm still within my limit of time, which is good. Some more, some more black. Blacker, blacker. Hmm. Belly button. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. 
Yeah, I'm hauling ass. I usually don't try to paint this fast. Hope everybody's having a good Friday, chilling out at work, not working hard. That's what I'm hoping. Hoping everybody's just chilling. Anybody's watching me? You're just waiting to leave work. Collecting that paycheck today. Miss that paycheck. Not going to lie, I don't miss the bosses snapping at me and shit, but <laughs> I miss them paycheck. <laughs> or in my case, it was me snapping at the bosses all the time. I was a, always a rebel. So. If you're uh, one of my old bosses and you're watching this video, I'm sorry. I apologize. Apologize for being a prick. But you guys are probably pricks too, so. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. How's that? But it's been so long that time made the. Uh, Time makes all things uh, less significant, you know. So I don't remember. Maybe I got still got a bunch of bosses and crap from my old jobs holding grudges at me, though. You never know. This belt, this belt is in bad shape. <laughs> so happens when you speed paint. Yeah, I wouldn't even. Try. I'd never paint one of these belts so fast normally. Really black on this side. Really black on this side, too. Black's done again. Dunzo. Real quicky icky right here.
going in there with the racer a little bit right now. Come here, Mika. <clears throat> Draw his homie, Captain America, down here. Let me uh, raise this up a little bit. Two faces on this piece. Um, let's see how I do. This will be a world record for me if I uh, if I accomplish this. It's not something I want to do often, though. Try to go this fast. I do it live painting, though. I've done it live painting. Just try to hurry the hell up. Especially if they're, like, for sale at the end of the night, like with ISI. They'd be for sale at the end of the night. And, uh, yeah, I try to haul ass. What would end up happening to me a lot with ISI is at the end of the night, I'd be sick. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, man, I didn't paint as well as I should have or whatever. But it's all experience, you know. There's another strap hole. Where's it? More black here. Strap here. These freehand shields save a lot of time because instead of having to tape every, all, all the damn day, the man Fast, fast, fast. Faster, faster. Speed. Speed painting. No pressure. No pressure, no pressure. But as I'm speed painting, I'm not painting with low pressure. I'm painting pretty high pressure because high pressure demands high pressure. Quick, quick pieces. Demand. He's down here chilling, looking all Hawaiian. When I met Hawaiians out here in Vegas, I instantly liked them because they looked Mexican. <laughs> Messed up, huh? No, they got a good culture too. They're real friendly and lots of fun to be around. They're all photogenic as hell too. You take pictures with a bunch of wine. 
and uh, you look like the dork. They look all like a bunch of badasses and shit. Or at least I do. I look like the dork. Kind of that. Time is it? Let me check the time. Ooh, we got 30 minutes. A little bit more than 30 minutes. We're good. A little more than 30 minutes. I'm not going to draw every tooth. That'll help me move this along too. <sighs> These guys, man, they're happy as shit. Yeah. Happy days are here again. I'm not going to try to do your hair exactly, Capitan America. Sorry, homie. This is a speed painting. Capitan. More strapo here. Super black. Yeah. Super black. That stays like that. This leg. Excuse my compressor. It's, it's closer today than it usually is. And I usually have it. It's like black. This hand's gonna throw a little salt in my game, looks like. Screwed up that. Screwed up these lines. Should I overlap these lines? It looks like I'm trying to. Looks like I'm trying to draw the hand backwards here.
It's going to be erased. Perfect. I'm not going to let a hand slow me down. Oh no. Got to keep on moving. I'm going to let it break my stride. Oh no. Got to keep on moving. Gonna get hit by the robot. Fast, fast piece. We're almost done. Darken that in right here. Oh no, got to keep on moving. Ain't nobody gonna break my stride. Capitan, you're getting a you're getting a quickie here, dude, bro. Quickie arm hairs. Take these off now. Quickie icky. Quickie icky icky. To keep on moving. Ain't nobody gonna break my stride. Ain't hold me down. Oh no. Got to keep on moving. Oh no. Got to keep moving. I'm going to go look for comments real quick on uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube because i got my PC in the other room. And then I'm going to continue with this and finish it. We're almost done. Put the golden glow in it at the end. So, yeah. Remember I'm recording, Mike, so I'll start screaming crazy stuff. Final stages. Man, I do not like that. Man, that finger down there. Oh, not too bad, I guess.
Last part right here. Nalgada. 